Evelyn's okay. My name is Evelyn, your host, and today we will be talking about the best thing in the entire world that I love so much and dearly. Bands. Yes. Today, ladies and gen ladies and gents, we we will be talking about bands today. <sighs> I love bands, you love bands, we all love bands. Hopefully, if you do, get out. We don't, you, don't, you don't belong here, get out. But, so today I have a document of bands that I'm going to talk about. This might, there might be a part two to this video. Just cause like, you know, there are 11 bands on here. So, I might get down to like, number five or six today. In the future, I might do a uh, part two. So, yeah, now let's get on with the bands. All right, I was gonna Google the band on my laptop, but for some reason it's not working. So, I'm gonna Google it on my phone. Yes, my wallpaper is um, Black Widow. Not Black Widow, Widowmaker. Widowmaker from Overwatch. Um, by the way, I got this uh, choker at Target. I'm gonna try and talk slow in this video today. Because there's going to be a lot of things said in this video. Just giving you a heads up right now. Alright, so the first band is Frank Ayer and the Patients. I have two things of Frank Ayer and Frank Ayer and the Patients. I have this rock that I painted. That's the uh, band symbol. And I have like a painting over there that you can't see, but it's there. And I'm too lazy to move the camera because this camera work was very difficult to, to achieve. One of my favorites, and this list is not in order. It's not like number one of my favorite bands, it's not that. It's just a random number of bands that I love. It's not in any kind of specific order. So, Frank Are You and the Patients. Uh, Frank Are You and the Patients is an American rock band from Bev Bevelu. I can't talk. Bell Belleville, New Jersey. Their debut album, Stomach Aches, which is one of my favorite albums ever, was released on August 25th, 2014. Their second album, Parachutes, was released on, on October 27th, 2016. So, they are a band that has albums. Cool, great, grand. So that is a little bit about them. The lead singer is my husband, Frank Iero. Uh, also, uh, their name used to be Frank Iero and the Celebration, but they changed it to Frank Iero and the Patients. Mm, years active, 2012 to now. Uh, the members are Frank Iero, um, Evan Nestor, Matt Olson, and Alex Grippo. So that is a little bit about uh, this band. Now I'm going to say the albums that they have. So they have World... Okay, that, that those are songs. Never mind. Okay, so their only two albums are... Uh, Parachutes, which is the newest album, and and they have Stomach Aches as well. Stomach Aches is personally my favorite album from them. I love that. I love this album. I know pretty much pretty much every song in this album. So now I'm gonna say uh, what songs they have. Um, one of the songs is World Destroyer. Uh, they have Veins, Veins, Veins. I love this song. It's a great song. And I'm a mess. I'll let you down. A remedy. Uh, Miss Me, Oceans. This is, Oceans is one, one, one of my favorite songs ever. I love this song. Uh, Viva Indifference. I love... Ugh, burped. Viva, I love Viva Indifference. My favorite songs from this band are Oceans, Viva Indifference, Blood Infections, Weighted, and Joyriding. Yeah. So, on to the next band. The next band is Bring Me the Horizon. It is a great band. Also, I did not know this until like a few months ago. The lead singer is British. I did not know that at all until like I was watching like um, a live concert and uh, Oliver Skies was talking. And I was like, "He's British." I didn't. I didn't know this. <laughs> so apparently he's British. I didn't know that, but he apparently he is. And when this girl was like, you can tell in his songs, I'm like, I can't. Okay, so Bring Me The Horizon are are often known as BMTH, are a British rock band from Sheffield, South Yorkshire, 
formed in 2004. The group currently consists of vocalist Oliver Skies, guitar Lee Malia, bassist Matt Keane, uh, drummer Matt Nicholas, and keyboardist Jordan Fish. And that's a little bit about the band. Uh, their genres are alternative metal, metalcore, alternative rock, and post-hardcore. Uh, years active 2004 to now and I'm gonna they, they have a lot of albums so I'm just gonna say few uh, uh, they have suicide season which came in came out in 2008 they have that's the spirit that came out in 2015 there's a pretty I'm pretty sure that's like their most famous album and separaternal that is a great album I love that album separaternal this is separaternal Will we ever see the end? This yes. okay. <laughs> yeah, I love that album. It came out in 2013. Uh, Count Your Blessings, 2006, and uh, The Bedroom Sessions, 2004. Yeah. Okay, so I just want to say this one thing. I only I only like their new music. New music. I don't like their past music because um. Like, okay, I don't like screamo music. Like, I I'll listen to it only if, like, uh, there's, like, screaming, singing, screaming, singing. I'll, I'll, only, listen to it, I'll only listen to it if it does that. But Bring Me the Horizon, you should just have all their songs just screaming, and that annoys the crap out of me, so I don't listen to it. Like, uh, No Hate, just, I'm just not into that kind of stuff. Asking Alexandria, pretty sure it's a great band. I'm not into it. My brother was, um, I'm not, so, yeah. Okay, some of the songs are Drown, Can You Feel My Heart, Shout at Moses, Happy Song, True Friends, Throne, Follow You, It Never Ends, Doomed, and that's just some of the songs, and I really just named all my favorite songs from them. <laughs> okay, so the next band I'm going to talk about is... The one, the only, the beautiful, the grace. One second. My chemical romance. You've guessed it. <laughs> As you can tell, they are like my favorite band ever history of bands. Well, next to Twilight Pilots. N n next to that. I already know a crap ton about my chemical romance. I'm just gonna say what I know from my chemical romance. It's still on Bring the Horizon, so. I'm just like, well, I know my chemical romance. <sighs> so, so, this is gonna trigger a lot of people, including me. It's very difficult to talk about this. <laughs> so, MCR was, um, pre was playing from 2001, sadly, to 2010. A lot of people say 2013, it's not 2013, it was, it was 2010. And, um, uh, the lead singers are, well, the lead singers, uh, the band members, uh, lead singer Gerard Way, uh, lead guitar Frank, uh, the lead guitar Ray Toro, uh, I don't know what guitar Frank is, just guitar Frank Iero, bass guitar Mikey Way, and then drummer was uh, Bobby Breyer, I don't know the new drummer, I don't know his name. Yes, uh, their albums are... I, I can never remember their first ever album. It's like, I brought you bullets, you brought me something. But then there is um, Three Cheers for First Revenge, which is this backpack, uh, the Black Parade here, and then The True Lives of the Fabulous Killjoys. Yeah. I always, I always get that album name wrong, so I probably got it wrong. Hey, got a fan. It's hot in here. I'm seeing it from a window. Yeah, so, and some of the, uh, songs are Welcome to Black Parade, Teenagers, Helena, uh, My mind just blinked on a crap ton of songs. I Don't Love You. My mind is blinking on everything right now, my god. You know what? 
my mind, I don't know why, but my mind is blanking on everything. Um, there is Famous Last Words, which I want to get tattooed, right here, which are the lyrics. It is, I'm not afraid to keep on living, I'm not afraid to walk this world alone. And then this one says, I'm always a killjoy. You can read it. A forever a killjoy, sorry. Uh, na 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 na. <laughs> <laughs> the ghost of you, I don't love you, teenagers, sing, cancer, disenchanted, plantinary, uh, thank you for the venom, I love that song, uh, De Desolation Row, Desolation Row, I love that song as well, I love all their songs, like, all their songs is generally amazing. On my phone, my phone's about to die, my phone's at 4%, so, next song I will be saying is Motionless in White. And this is a fairly new band that, they're not new, but to me, I've only been listening to them for a few months, so I don't know that much about them. I, I, I got into them recently. Not very recently, just recently. Like, like, a couple months ago. Like, I knew they were a thing for a long time, but I was never really into the music until... A few months ago, um, <laughs> now I have a um, motionless, motionless and white t-shirt, but um, not gonna lie, the lead singer, Chris Motionless, is just, good jeans, really good, really good jeans, Say I meant the DNA, not pants. Frank Iero, really good jeans. I'm gonna have to like, you know, read my phone over here. Sorry. I have drift. I have drifter by falling in reverse stuck in my head. I'm a drifter. So, motionless and white, uh, motionless and white, often abbreviated MIW, is an American metalcore band from Scranton, Pennsylvania. Formed in 2005, the band consists of Chris Motionless. I never know how to pronounce his actual real last name. I'm gonna butcher this, oh my god, I am. Creuli. It's C-E-R-U-L-L-I. Uh, lead vocalist Ricky Horror Olsen. Rhythm guitar Devin Ghost Sola Bass. That's a last name. Ryan Sitkowski. Uh, lead guitar and Vinnie Morrow Drums. The band has started... The band has stayed... Uh, stated that their band name diverted from AT Visions song Motionless, Motionless and White. Their genres are metalcore, gothic metal, and industrial metal. Uh, years active, 2005 to now. Uh, some of the albums, they have a lot of albums, so their most recent one, the newest one, is Graveyard Shift, came out in 2017. Throw on my face, thank you. Uh, Infamous came out in 2012, Creatures, 2010. Uh, Reincarnate in 2014. Now I named like their most famous albums. There's a lot more. So, yeah. I'm gonna say some of the songs they have. Uh, their newest song is um, Internally Yours. I love that song. Uh, Reincarnate. I never know how, how, how to say this song, but I love this song. It's like, I say how like immaculate in this conception. Probably butchering that. Uh, Devil's Night, Loud, uh, Break the Cycle, Cinematic, 517, America, Black Namask, and etc, etc, etc. Alright, now I'm going to get to the last band I'm going to talk, to, talk about in this video. The band is Falling in Reverse. I love this band. I am desperate for a t-shirt. I have not got one yet. Because whenever I go to Hot Topic, I'm like, ooh, most of white, ooh, my chemical romance, need it, need it. And, I spent, and then I spent all my money on band t-shirts. And then I leave, I'm just like, crap. I've had my heart set on a, 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 a Falling Reverse t-shirt. I've never got one before. I came this close to getting one. I was like, oh, my chemical romance. So, that happens. So, Falling in Reverse, 
is an American rock band based in Las Vegas, Nevada, and formed in 2008. And formed in 2008. Uh, their genre is post-hardcore, metalcore, hard rock, punk rock, and glam metal. Years active, 2008 to present. Uh, the lead singer is Ronnie Radke. And then there's Derek Jones, Zach Sandler, and Christian Thompson. Okay, I just want to say, Ronnie Radke. Yet again, beautiful jeans. Beautiful jeans. Just... I just want to say that Ronnie, that Ronnie Radke has a very bad reputation because of Escape the Fate. He used to be, he, he used to be the lead singer to Escape the Fate. And I like some other songs. But during Escape the Fate, he was on a lot of drugs. He was getting arrested a lot. And now he's fixed. He's totally clean. He is a father. Like he's 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 a, he's a totally great guy now, and I love him. I think he's, I think he's just an amazing person. I am so sorry. I'm so stupid. I did not even say any of the albums or any of the songs. Uh, there is coming home, just like you, and fast really late. Then some of the songs are the drug in me is you. I'm not a vampire. Good girls, bad guys, and fast really late. So so those are all the bands I will be talking about today. They, they will be a part two. So far I have gotten to number six, no, number five. Number five, I got, I got to number five. So the next video, there will be six through 11. So yeah, hopefully this video came out really well because I, re, I redid this. This is the redoing of it. Last time I filmed it, it was a mess, and I hated it, and no. So, this is a remake. Hopefully, it's a lot better than the first one I made. But, hopefully, you guys, hopefully, ho a little, a little. hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I will put a link to the bands in the description below. Same with, same with my, so my social media. And, also, like... About the descriptions, I never ever know what to say in that. I'm always like, hey, bye. I never know what to say in it. Like, if you go to my other videos and look in the description, I never don't, I, I never know what to say. So, also, it was just so weird how, like, even even when I go to school, there are literally like some kids that are like, Hey Evelyn, don't make a new video, make a new video, make a new video. I'm like, you actually enjoy my videos? You actually enjoy them? Like, I honestly get so surprised of how many people want me to make a video. I'm just like, you Are you feeling okay? Like do you like do you have a cold? Like I get so genuinely confused. And also last time I checked, I, I had like 92 subscribers so thank you very much for that I also never thought I would get this high in subscribers uh, if I get to 100 subscribers I'm literally gonna have like a seizure a stroke a heart attack and all, all at one uh, <laughs> so anyway I really hope you enjoyed this video um, Go check out those bands. They are amazing bands. Yeah. Um, please subscribe. I would love it very much. Bye. <laughs>